Alright guys, what's the crack? Welcome back to Techniques in 10, a series where we take a look at the fundamentals of various painting techniques in 10 minutes or less. Today we're going to talk about layering. Layering is essentially placing translucent layers of paint on top of one another to build opacity. It can be great for things like highlighting, shading, value sketching, and has a number of other uses. So with that being said, let's get a timer and let's get into it. I like to use multiple colors while layering, a mid-tone, some highlight colors, and some shade colors. I mix a gradient with these and work from that. As you can see, I'm just drawing out the color and introducing the highlights or the shades. Remember, black and white can be quite overpowering, so use them sparingly. I also haven't thinned my paints. I'll just be working with the additional moisture provided from the wet palette. Once you have your gradient, you have the option of starting from your shadow and working up, or starting from your mid-tone and creating your highlights and shadows. Be sure to try both of these approaches and see what works best for you. Imagine we're going to create a highlight where I'm running my brush. Starting from our mid-tone, which I applied to the model earlier, we're going to go one step over into our highlight color. I start by mapping out a large section of the highlight area as we'll be covering less and less of the model each time we take a new color. You can see this initial difference is quite subtle. Going one step to the right in our gradient, I load up my brush and begin to paint on top of the first highlight, being sure not to cover the entirety of the highlight. I'm leaving a small amount of the first highlight showing at the edges. Again, you'll see it's quite subtle, but you can see that we're starting to build a highlight. Working from our mid-tone, we have done two highlights, so we take the next color along. Here you can see how thick the paint is. I'm making sure to cover less area than before with this new layer, leaving the edges from the last color showing. You can see that the gradient is becoming a lot more visible from the mid-tone up to the highlight in both directions. I'm adding a small amount of white to the color and again covering less of the highlight area. You can see this approach builds a smooth transition on the model in just a few steps. I'm going to repeat this process in the shadows, going from our mid-tone, one step to the left, we start to cover the area that's in shadow. Going back to our gradient, one step to the left, and we start to cover a smaller area. As you can see, we're starting to build up the shadow, and we're developing a more interesting transition on the model. On to our third shading color, we want to cover an even smaller area. With this color we want to get as close to the edge of the panel as possible before panel lining.
And now we're going to do a quick bit of panel lining. I decided to darken this down a bit more. This step finishes the leg. We have been able to create a smooth gradient on the model with minimal effort using less than 10 layers of paint. Because we didn't cover the entire mid-tone with our initial highlight or shade, you can see that this section still reads as our mid-tone. I'm going to follow the same process we used on the blue to paint the knee pad, working from our mid-tone up to our highlight and then working down for our shadows. As you can see, we've created a smooth gradient using the same technique as we did for the blue. Layering is probably one of the best ways to intentionally create texture on your model. You can do this with different types of clothing, leather, wood grain, bones, bases, or anything else that you want to add texture to. When you're creating texture, the value jump can be a bit more pronounced. This will help emphasize the brush strokes and texture you're trying to create. As you can see, I'm being very deliberate and directional with my brush strokes in order to create texture. As we continue to build towards the brightest color, we cover less and less space drawing the color where we want the highlight and where we want the texture. Hopefully you will be able to see how this is building up some texture on the ammo pouches. Layering allows you to create value sketches very quickly. If we wanted to plan out our highlights on the shoulder, we would start by taking a higher value than our base and begin to map out our highlights and the volumes. Then going in with a higher value, we can pick out these areas and begin to refine the highlights. If you're unsure as to what a value sketch is, I'll be going into it in more detail in a future video. Now let's cover the gotchas. Using paint that's too thick and stepping between colors too quickly are the main gotchas when it comes to layering. Steps or bands occur when you create large value steps between your layers. You can see here there's a large jump between our midtone and our first highlight. Now if we take this to the extreme, you can really see the step. 
You can also see the brush strokes and unwanted texture we are creating by using thick paint. To remove the bands, you could smooth it out by returning to your gradient or by using glazes. If you're unfamiliar with glazes, please check out my other video. And that covers the fundamentals of layering. It's a brilliant technique and one that I really recommend that you practice. It can be used for army painting and all the way through to competition. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions for future videos, please feel free to drop them below. I also stream a couple of times a week on Twitch if you want to come and hang out and I'll catch you next time. Hopefully you found this useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe.